today I'm going to talk to you about stamps. 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 And for those of you that don't know, stems are just the individual sounds of a song that we listen to. So this could be your drums, this could be your pianos, this could be your guitars, this could be your bass instruments. Any individual sound you hear in a song, that sound isolated by itself is what we would call a stem. Many music producers like yourself will request the stems of a sample in order to get the maximum flexibility to mix down the final product of the beat they are working on. With that being said, let's cook and go on machine. All right, for those of you who are a little bit more experienced, you know that some samples have more tracks in the stems than others. We're gonna work on a sample that has a lot of tracks to them so that this could be helpful to you as well. For the sake of this video, I already selected what part of the sample that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna let you all hear it and I'm gonna add some drums to it and then we're gonna break this down on what stems we're gonna prioritize, okay? Now, before I chop and I'm just still getting the feel for the beat, one of the things that I will do is I will pre-mix my drums and pre-mix the sample just to get an idea to see how this would sound if I was to go in this direction. So this is what I did so far. So now in my mind, I'm ready to go ahead and start chopping this up. So we took up group A and group B already. Let's go to group C. You see how we have the bass notes right here? Let's just put all the basses in one group. Make things a lot easier for ourselves. Put all the basses in one group. And I'm putting them both to audio. But here is how things get interesting. Hit control, click both of them. Now, go to pattern, stretch it out to four. You already got it to four. Change your source BPM to 87. Boom. You change both of them at the same time, thus saving you some time. And then you want to go right back to browse, detune it down one step. So look at this. You already got them both in the same key as your original. And if you mute the composition, See, that was easy. Now there's no shortcut for making all of these audio at the same time. So we're just gonna do these one by one. But as soon as we do that, we can go to pattern, bring this down to four, go back to browse, detune that down to one and 87, boom. We just put five different instruments in the same key. And because we know we started at the fifth bar, we have no sounds here. So we could put this back to the one. See, so we have that sound. If we want to take that sound of the sample and we're good there. And I know some of you may be thinking, why are we grouping these together so much? Wouldn't that take away from us fine tuning them? And not exactly, because when you really think about a live set, a lot of the instruments are grouped together. You'll have some guitars next to each other or near each other to a point where you can still edit the sound and you can still fine tune those sounds in machine. Let me show you how. So let's go to the guitars. Let's move this back over to the ones because this is where the guitars play at. Let's make sure they're not selected because they're all selected like this. I'm sure what's gonna happen. You're gonna see this happen. They're all gonna be moving up and down at the same time, and this is what you don't want. What you're gonna do is hit shift again on one, so this way you deselected the sounds, and you go back here and look. You see how I still have a lot of control? 
I have not only volume control, but panning control on this as well. All right, so now we're at the point where we want to put this into actual slices. So first I'm gonna solo my drums. Why? Because I personally believe having your drums in slices gives you a lot more flexibility than having the audio loop play back over and over again. So right there, slice, and we are going to put this on grid, apply, and we're gonna go ahead and go to bank two, A2, and boom. So now, this could be muted. And watch this, let's just, let's just play the other ones back real fast. Now, I can easily get lost in this process of sampling because once you get to this point is where the real fun begins. And if you really want to get to this point of sampling where you could just zone out and start chopping and fine tuning and EQing, that's just you go and check this video down below. This video will really show you how to get to that point really fast.